Hey guys, so today was a very, very tight range day. Um, we actually had a very, very small amount of movement. So we only put in about a dollar and 89 cents of total uh, range today on SPY. So that's about 43% of the 10 day average move. Uh, on futures, so this includes, uh, uh, on futures, we actually only put in a total of 63% of our 10 day average move. So we only got about a total of 31 points total movement on futures. So that includes obviously uh, yesterday when markets were closed too. So very, very tight uh, range today. Um, one of the more impressive things that I haven't seen, and I actually don't think I've seen it um, at all. Um, I tried to research it, but I couldn't quite figure out, couldn't quite get a good detail on it. But as far as I know, um, I have never seen the fifth, first 15 minute candles range. So this is taking the high of the wick and the low wick of the first full 15 minute candle that establishes what's called the opening range. Uh, I use that in my trading on the five and 15 minute time frame. I have never seen spy and futures close every single 15 minute candle within that range all day long. Now we did the last 15 minute candle close under that range, um, but that did not come till the last couple minutes. Um, but I have never seen us all day long hold a range like that. Um, that is something I've never seen before. Um, so going over to the charts here, um, on SPY, we actually put a new supply in today. So that's going to be at 453.3. Uh, we did not get low enough to take out our 448.2 or 448.8 supplies. So that is my target for tomorrow. Our 8 EMA is right around 447.5 and our 20 EMA is right here about 445.8. This is my target range, really this about 446 to 447 for tomorrow if we get some downside continuation. Now, going over to futures, um, we did put a new supply in on Friday at 45.27. So we have now come down to 45.06 and taken that level out. So from here, we have pretty much turned this 45.28 to 45.40 area into a really nice resistance. Uh, you can see these double supply, double demand, double supply levels right here. So this is some pretty strong resistance area. Um, so from here, I am looking for a retrace down to about 44.76. Our 8 EMA sits right around 44.89 and our 20 EMA is just over that 44.76 supply. So this is my target for tomorrow. Going over to the queues, so the queues did not put a supply in on Friday, but we are sorry, did put a supply in on Friday. Um, I had that wrong there. Sorry. So we did put a supply in on Friday. What was interesting about the queues today is the fact that all day long until that final five minute drop, the queues was actually going to put a new demand in today which is even more interesting when the fact that the daily DMIs are all waving down on SPY, futures, and the queues, that would signal that downside's coming, but putting a demand in, that's a bit peculiar. So, but what ended up actually happening is that we did close under that 378.1 supply. So we had now have a nice little double top there. So from here, um, our, our critical support really is 377.5. If we break that support, we're likely to see a bigger downside retrace. And now this 378.1 is a pretty strong uh, resistance that we're gonna keep an eye on. Our eight EMA is right here about 373.9. Uh, and our target really is going to be 372.7 supply and possibly 370.4 if we can get enough downside movement. Now, going over to the VIX here, what we actually did today is we put a new demand in at 13.08. So we went and took out two different demands. So our next upside demand is 14.8 and then 15.97. So what was interesting about the VIX today is, and I've been saying this since last week, but we have these basically two weeks straight of just dropping on the VIX uh, all day long. Basically it would open, and it would just range all day long. The VIX didn't really do anything. Today was different because the VIX was actually green at open. And not only that though, but the VIX was pushing up opening hour. So again, I really expected us to break under 4506 support this morning, um, just because the VIX, I mean, a lot of the technicals, we had a lot of sellers coming in. 
um, the VIX was breaking out. It was one of the first times in the last two weeks that I can actually remember the VIX being in uh, an uptrend pretty much uh, at open. That does not usually happen. So it was interesting to see the fact that we did not um, not continue that and we actually got quite rejected there. Uh, and then the VIX started basically just trending lower, which is also interesting because even though the VIX trended lower, um, SPY did not trend lower. So we did end up getting a green close in the VIX with the red SPY close, but that was not the case most of the day. Most of the day, the VIX was actually um, red while SPY was green um red ish to greenish so uh definitely a little bit different there um overall i'm going to look for a move up on the vix to this 15 area and i'm looking for one more day of downside tomorrow uh and then i do think the end of the week we likely see a bit of a recovery so i hope you guys had a good day trading today and i will see you guys tomorrow